Good morning, guys. The day I never thought would come has arrived. It's day 14. Today I'm free. I am free from the shackles of this room. Oh my gosh. I'm free. Now, I don't know if I'm free in the sense I can just leave the room now and do what I want or I've got to wait for this test today and then after that is negative. Then I can be free. This whole experience has told me I'm never going to jail. I'm never ever going to do something to put myself in jail because this is awful. And the, oh God, through the tears and then the boredom and just accepting it and just oh today's the final day so now is gonna be a new challenge celine has a seven day holiday in three days <laughs> that is gonna be my challenge from today until i fly on sunday so today yeah today's thursday i fly sunday evening stay tuned for my holiday that i have to pack into three days let's go You guys already know a bee is free i am free oh my god and it's that bit sweeter because like i said i've been here for two weeks now so um i'm free to roam as a local so i'm just walking to rodney bay i'm gonna go massey i'm a i don't even know where i'm gonna go but i definitely have to go massey because i want to buy some rum to bring back and see what else they've got um i'm not gonna get too much because I'm actually going to my grand's tomorrow. Sorry about it. Yeah, I'm going to my grand's tomorrow to um, just chill until the end of my stay, basically. So, I'm gonna live it up today in the hotel. I'm gonna go to the pool, go to the beach, and do Splash Island, hopefully. Yeah, all of that in one day. <laughs> but for now, let's walk to Rodney Bay and see what goodies we can get. shops out here in St. Lucia they're really really good you have to sanitize on entry um buy your mask and all of that I'm currently in the liquor store because obviously um I gotta get rum for my friend rum for my best friend's mum and rum for myself and probably rum for my boyfriend um so yeah I'm just walking around I'm actually looking for dinner and that will be saved for me for next year carnival antics if you get a carnival so let's see if they go i believe all these prices are in ec dollars not us. so this is really good rum is really cheap in the caribbean as i'm sure you can imagine later guys we need to talk about the um the failure that was Splash Island. I didn't record beforehand, but I think the lifeguard recorded when I was on it. So I'm gonna insert some clips, but I wiped out as soon as I got on, as soon as I got on. really pretty guys the sun setting um the sea is just calm it's you know when there's just certain times in life where you're just like i'm at peace this is me right now after i've wiped out and everything i'm at peace now um 
so yeah this is what i would class as a golden hour oh guys i've had such a good afternoon i'm literally just about to step out to go dinner for the first time i'm so excited like these little things that i was meant to just have on this holiday i finally get to enjoy now so yeah i haven't um eaten in the restaurant yet for dinner so i'm gonna do that now i'm tired listen that splash island wipes me out i'm tired but i'm hungry as well so i'm gonna eat and come back and then probably just knock out oh my gosh guys i bought no gel or edge control with me so i've been going out with like undone edges for two weeks but oh well that's me naturally take me or leave me um but yes this so this is my fit for this evening just a little nude maxi, very tight fitting, shows all my food part, <laughs> and my pre-period blow in, which is, cause it's on its way. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna step out to dinner and then hopefully they got some cute vegetarian options. Um, I've been eating a lot of fish, so just want something veggie. And then I'll show you guys what I get. I'm gonna get dessert too, <laughs> spoil myself. And yeah let's see what they got for me so i just got dinner i've got a fish alfredo pasta because um the veggie actually there were no veggie options so oh well i feel obviously when i come back to st lucia if i come back here i'm hoping to be like a full vegetarian and vegan so i'll have to make sure like there's food options all the time because i've wavered too much and i'm not trying to like ask for veggie stuff but oh well so i've got this pasta it looks so good and i've got a blended fruit punch i haven't really drunk over here so mm -hmm. that's so good so let me show you my pasta oh yeah baby that's my pasta so i know i'm gonna get dessert whether i'm gonna vlog as i'm eating i don't know because this all looks too good good morning ashna Good afternoon. It's currently raining. It's literally like a passing cloud at the moment. It's really sunny still, but just waiting for the rain to go down. And I'm gonna take a walk back to Rodney Bay because I have a massage, a foot scrub, and wax booked for today. Um, I booked it at two, but I'm leaving a bit early, like 20 past one. Take a nice stroll and then I spoke to the lady. She said, if I get there early, it's fine. I'll probably get seen too early. So that's brilliant. I just found it online. Now I'm a local. It's cheaper than like hotel prices. So that's why I booked for three things. When I converted it to pounds, like the wax was about 24, which is not too bad. Um, the massage is 120 EC dollars and the book therapy I think is about 30 EC dollars which is not bad at all. I don't know what those two equivalent to pounds. But yeah it should be really nice and relaxing. I need it. The sun has been so strong today like my tan lines I don't know if you can see. I don't know if it's picking up here but that was just from this morning because the sun was strong and I said you know what let me stay in it safely obviously loads of SPF. Um, because I can't come back to England and the people them don't see that I was on holiday. So, yeah. Anyway, I think the rain is calmed down. So, let me head out and then I'll let you guys know how my treatments went. Good morning. As you can probably tell, I'm in a change of scenery. My grands, we came last night. Um, well past good for you. Yeah, I checked out of my hotel at like, just before 7 p.m. Curfew 7, by the way. But it's kind of like London, if you know where to go, maybe there won't be people having curfew. Um, not saying that I was involved in anything like that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And it got to Granny's at like 10. To be honest, there was traffic as well. There was three accidents. I think because St. Lucia is on this curfew, I think maybe, um, and this is just my speculation, this has not been confirmed, um, people are like panicking and rushing to get home after work to make curfew for seven. Because of all that panic and rush, um, people are getting into accidents. So there was three accidents and yeah. And it's just a drive anyway, because I was coming from the north and granny lives in the south. So I'm in Mikud. My granny lives like in the country. 
and all I know here is mosquitoes. That's like the first memory of this house. <laughs> but it's not been too bad and it's just hot. Like, Grand doesn't have AC. She just got like fans and stuff still. It's old school. And there's no fan in my room. So guys, I feel like I've left a sweat patch on the bed. Like it's hot. But do you know what? I'll take it, like, my grand's taking me in. I know she's happy to have me here. I'm here till tomorrow, tomorrow I leave. So I think auntie's gonna, um, she managed to hire a car, so i probably try and do a bit out and about today and I'll take you guys along with me. The first thing that's on the agenda is, um, CMOS. <laughs> so I don't know if it's confirmed yet, but her friend um, has to see the tide this morning. And once he knows if the tide is okay, then your girl will be out to sea, picking some sea moss. I think that's a toilet. So I've got my fingers crossed that the tide will be behaving itself and I can go out. If not, no biggie. Like My aunt's got so many bags of sea moss here, like it's crazy. Uh, yeah so guys i'm still a bit mellow it's just gone six in the morning um yeah let me show you the view actually from my room so this was actually my granddad's room before he passed so yeah there's still bars on the window and stuff and then this is outside it's literally like trees country okay the bars are giving the bars are giving me jail vibes but <laughs> and i can't show you guys properly but let's see if there's a better view on the other side Doo -doo -doo. again there's bars on the window but yeah okay probably gonna chill for this morning um have some breakfast. I'm gonna go pick some limes from my grand's lime tree, maybe make some lime juice, have hot water and lime, um, and then see if my granny wants to cook breakfast. I shouldn't be making her, but I know she wants, she wants to. She wants to do that for me. So yeah, and then maybe just watch a bit of TV. We got Netflix on the TV, so I might watch You. You season three has just dropped. So uh, yeah, let's see the plan for today. I smell something cooking. I smell something cooking. I only requested one thing from my gran and that was Dal Puri roti. And I think, hold on. <laughs> oh, yes. How many do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Thank you, granny. <laughs> so, before I left London, there was no petrol. And Auntie, they've been filling your petrol for you over here. Yeah, you don't, you don't fill up your own petrol. You don't even have to get out and fill out your own petrol. That's peasantry, yeah? They got people who do your petrol for you. Service. That's customer, that is customer service. Yeah? With or without a smile? Oh. With a smile. With a smile. Was it with a smile? She had cute hair though. <laughs> I told him a little cocky pie when no one here where I said, No, it's fine. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Oh, my God, my so my aunt's friend Curtis, he doesn't want to be on camera, so you're gonna get me. <laughs> so how long do you come to your how often sorry do you come to your CMOS farm? Every day, sometimes every other day. Mm-hmm. And that's just to check it or to pick it. Just it to see what's happening in the farm, make sure everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of love cleaning. And sometimes to have it. Okay. He's gonna be setting up his business and everything. So as soon as I set up, I'll let you guys know. Um, hoping to get a UK distributor. It could be me. <laughs> Don't know yet. But if that is, I'll keep you guys updated. And um, it'll be 100% wild crafted, dried sea moss. Get your nutrients. You guys know I've spoken about it about 500 times on this channel already. So you know how much I vouch for sea moss. And oh my God, I'm getting classic. <laughs> 
you will see the stone. Mm -hmm. You will see where it's more come. come you see where it's going white? Mm -hmm. And just pass the food. Okay. Give me a food. Yes. When we get to it, we can send that again. Okay. <laughs> This is so beautiful. Like the water's so clear. Maybe a bit too clear. So if I see fish or crabs, I'm gonna start crying. But <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! Is this? It's alive. It's alive. Yeah, it's alive. Show me. No, you don't have to. Um, I got it on camera. Whoa, sea egg. Yeah, it's a Wow. Whoa. Is that an eye? Yeah. Wow. You can eat it, you know, egg in there. You break it, you get the egg. No, I'm okay, I'm alright. 25 euro for a kilo of that. For a pound, sorry. 50 euro for a kilo. So you grow in the sea eggs as well? No, 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 you just grow in the water. So I'm going to send it over there where I don't know what about. Planted on the twine. Oh my god. It's growing right, right now, it's still young. Mm -hmm. Another two weeks for harvest. Another two weeks? Yeah, before I can harvest all these in front Okay. 26 troops there. 26? Yeah. And I have one, two, three, four farms. Alright? Um, that's another rope. I mean, I'll do it. And I'll show you some green sea moss in a minute. That's another rope. Wow. What's the bottles for? Um, to keep it afloat. Just to keep it. Oh. Right now, there's water in the bottle to sink it. Oh, okay. So then, when it's afloat, I take off the water mm -hmm. and the bottle keeps it afloat. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna show you some green simmers. <sighs> oh, wow. Is there any more like benefits in the green one versus. Is that gonna be purple? Well, the, these dark colored ones, yeah. the green ones. If you air dry them, mm -hmm. they remain green and purple mm -hmm. and it's more nutritious than those you bleach. Mm -hmm. Because these same ones can be bleached, but in the bleaching process it turns white. Yeah. Like it's been in an oven. It yeah. goes through a process like it's been cooked. Mm -hmm. And then it turns a little goldish or brownish colour. Mm -hmm. But the um, colour varies. No sea moss dries the same because it all depends on the colour it comes out of the farm mm -hmm. and how much sunshine and the time of year, mm -hmm. the colour will change. When people tell you that sea moss is too dark, it's too brown, that's rubbish. All of them do the same thing. Oh wow. It's just that it's been harvested at different times of the year because we have the hurricane season mm -hmm. and the summer. Okay. During the summer, the sun is very hot, so the heat takes away the color from the sea moss. Mm -hmm. water. In the winter, it's cold, so it gets darker, more purple, more green. Oh my god, yeah. see, look at that knowledge! People, people that don't know just tell you, boy, that sea moss dark is not good, and yeah. it's down there, yeah, nah, it's rubbish. Now, I have some line of cool green in the back there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you some on the other farm in the front there. I'm going to show you some on all the farms. Okay. Yeah, today um, I didn't really do much. I went to my grand's lime tree, I um, picked some limes and stuff, and she made me bread food, she made me, oh, it was good. Like the past couple of days staying on my grand's has been really, really, really nice. But it's finally home time. I'm with Aisha. She's out too. <laughs> um, yeah. And we've checked in and everything, gone through security, so we just had departures and um, just waiting for our flight in a couple hours. And yeah, London, we soon reach. Can't wait. And so yeah, it's probably gonna be the end of the vlog, guys. So you know what to do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for joining me on this COVID filled holiday. And I'll see you soon.